teachers. On behalf of the staff at Peacemaker Resources, we want you to know that we're sending you good thoughts. We understand that you are being faced with challenges that you've never been faced with before. We've never done this. So as a result, there are lots of unanswered questions and lots of anxiety and fears during this time. Now, more than ever, it is important to remember the strategies and the tools that we already have. For myself, I'm noticing that my children are asking me questions. The staff at Peacemaker Resources is asking questions, and many of these questions are being left unanswered. When are we going to work together again? Are we going to be able to serve schools? My children are asking questions about their school year. Will they have an orchestra concert? Do they still have to practice? <laughs> um, other things, more important things, like when will they see their teachers and when will they see their friends again? All of this is unknown, which leads to lots of anxiety, I realize. For myself, the way that I'm dealing with these uncomfortable feelings is through my mindfulness practice. This is one of the resources that has been helping me calm my body and my brain. So I'd like to offer you just a short sit, uh, mindfulness sit of self-compassion. So if you are interested, go ahead and join me. I'm going to ask that you just find a comfortable position, whatever feels good to you. Um, I just like to rest my hands. I kind of cradle my hands in my lap. Um, I like to sit upright. Um, when I'm upright, I'm also alert. My mindfulness teacher says upright, but not uptight. So go ahead and loosen your shoulders. And let's just give our, ourselves this gift of pause. So settling in with our feet flat on the floor, bringing your gaze inward. If you're comfortable, close your eyes or just gaze down. And this is a moment just to notice. Breathing in through your nose, pausing out through your nose or your mouth. using your breath as an anchor. Maybe even saying to yourself, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. And I would just invite you to notice what some of those feelings are that you're being faced with during this time. Noticing where you hold tension. Are you holding tension, tension in your shoulders, in your face, in your jaw? Just beginning to soften. Softening your shoulders, softening your face. Breathing in, breathing out. And as you're taking this moment of pause, I want you to reflect on the resources that you have. Self-awareness is a resource. Compassion for yourself and your students and their families is a resource. Patience is a resource. And understanding that there's lots of unanswered questions right now Just breathing into that. Remembering you're not in this alone. No one has done this before. 
You have colleagues you can lean on. Remembering we're all doing the best that we can. So even saying to yourself, I'm doing the best that I can. I'm doing the best that I can. If it feels comfortable, go ahead and place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Breathing in, breathing out. Giving yourself a little self-compassion. I'm doing the best that I can. Let's take one more collective breath together, breathing in and out. And you're ready to come back together. I just want to remind you of some of the brain science related to mindfulness practice. They have found that mindfulness actually calms the amygdala, which is our fight, flight, or freeze. And it allows us to gain access to our thinking brain, our prefrontal cortex. Our prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain where we make responsible decisions, where we regulate our emotions. So by taking some time to give ourselves some self-compassion and taking a few deep breaths in the process will help calm our body and brain so that we're able to face the challenges in front of us. Thank you, and we send good thoughts.